Are you guys here at the White House in full blown freak out mode? What are you talking about? There's what are you a, talking about? There's a political Peter? story. It sounds like Democrats outside. Uh, the quote is Biden's stubbornly, stubbornly poor polling and the stakes of the election are creating the freak out. So, again, I'm going to be mindful. I'm not going to comment on 2024 election. I will say this. Uh, the president has never forgotten where he comes, where he came from, who he is. Uh, he understands what the American people are going through as they're sitting around the kitchen table. You talk, you hear the president talk about his time growing up, where he watched his family having to sit around the kitchen table, making incredibly difficult decisions. And the president has always said he's going to fight for communities that have been forgotten. And you see that in the policies, economic policies that he's put forward. Uh, he's going to continue to fight for the middle class. He's going to continue uh, to fight in every way that he can. You heard me at the beginning talk about junk fees, incredibly important. And he's going to continue continue to fight uh, and to make sure, uh, you know, that corporation greed doesn't continue to take hold. Uh, he is, that is something that he's been very clear about. While Republicans are doing the opposite, they put out a policy where they want to give a big tax break to the wealthiest among us, billionaires and, and corporations. That's not what the president wants to do. Mr. President, what's your message to Democrats who don't want you to run again? They want me to run. Two thirds say they don't. Read the polls, Jack. You guys are all the same. That poll showed that 92% of Democrats, if I ran, would vote for me. A majority of Democrats say they don't want you to run again in no, 2024. 92% said if I did, they'd vote for me. The polls, they go up, they go down. Yeah!